Canadian industry is absolutely critical to us. We have about $200 million worth of business currently in Canada we do every year on a wide range of programs. And we are obviously looking to develop Canadian industry to support us on a wide range of programs that we're bidding. Um, you'll be familiar with a number of the names, the CCV program, the TAPV program, uh, and also the MSVS truck program. So across these range of programs, we're looking to build uh, a, a supply chain in Canada that can, we can build a supply chain, we can build good business that isn't just about winning business in Canada, but is also about uh, supporting our global efforts to sell these products worldwide. So, very important, delighted there's a, a number of you here today. Many of you will not have worked in this industry before, I'm sure. So, the unique elements of this industry we will need to uh, take you through. I have a number of members of my team dotted around here, so I'd be very uh, grateful, uh, and I'm sure it will be to your benefit, for you to spend a little bit of time talking to my team members uh, to actually pick up exactly uh, what it is we're trying to do in more detail. A key element of our proposal uh, across all these programs is our track record. Uh, and on CV90, on the CCV program in particular, we've got a hell of a track record for sourcing work in country. Switzerland, Netherlands, Holland, um, and, uh, and also we've got uh, Norway. We, we have a track record of delivering on offset that is second to not. So you should have real confidence in our ability to deliver what we have. Yeah, Mike Segman, I'm running the campaigns for, uh, for CCV and TAPV, but I'll focus on the CCV program for today. Uh, the intention we have is, first of all, I'll try to explain a bit where we are with CV90, what it is. I'll give you a short background there. And after that, the intent is to try to describe the, uh, the very specific industrial setup that we've used in, in five exports with CV90 and that, that has been quite successful. Starting with CV90, CV90 started uh, a number of years ago as a, as a program for the Swedish Army to meet uh, ambitious requirements for mobility, protection, firepower, and reliability, and growth. Uh, since then, CV90 has been chosen by six countries, uh, Sweden, Norway, uh, Switzerland, Finland, uh, the Netherlands, and the latest one is Denmark. Uh, all of these countries did the selection based on requirements very similar to those of CCV. Uh, another interesting fact is that all these six CV90 nations used the CV90 to operate alongside the Leopard 2 main battery tank. So there is a strong connection with the Leopard 2 and the CV90 system. Uh, a bit about what we're attend uh, going to offer for, for Canada. Uh, for Canada, we're going to offer the CV90 Mark III, which is the fourth generation of the CV90 series. CV90 Mark III is currently in, under, in operations in Afghanistan with the Danish Army, and it is in service with the uh, Army of the Netherlands. The Mark III will offer a low-risk military off-the-shelf solution that exceeds the critical requirements for mobility and protection and also to, uh, with kept growth for future needs. There will be tons of, uh, of, of growth for future needs in this platform. Uh, so we think we have a very strong position with, with CV90, even though there is, of course, there's a very uh, strong competition out there. However, meeting requirements is, is only one part of being successful on, a, on an export market. And meeting ambitious RVs has always been a key in the, in the exports we've done. And we have a very unique industrial setup, which we will explain a bit more. Uh, and, and it's tailored for CV90, but could also be used for, for other programs. Uh, it's proven. We've done it five times. In fact, we've done it in all six uh, CV90 contracts. Uh, a key element of this industrial setup is something we call the CTA, the Complete Turret Assembler, basically to build and integrate the turret on the vehicle. Uh, and as such, I'm very proud to, uh, to have Du Engineering, who we have selected as our CTA for this program. And Du is going to be a key element in, in, the, in our... Du is very, very pleased to uh, formally announce that Du and Haglunds have signed a teaming agreement with, in which Du is appointed the Complete Turret Assembler for the CV90 for Canada. The Du scope of work is not only 
the manufacture and integration of the turret, but also the integration of the turret onto the chassis, complete with all of the final uh, vehicle systems tests, including live fire. So we actually will put the whole vehicle together in Canada and do that Canadianization. The integration work will be done at the new uh, integration uh, assembly, relay from reroll facility in Atlanta, Canada. Another major part of the CB90 industrial setup is subcontracting of components and parts to Canadian firms, qualified Canadian firms from coast to coast. And Haglunds has worked uh, extensively with DO to identify up to 80 qualified suppliers across Canada. Now, two of those firms are here today, and they have signed letters of intent with DO for the CV90 program. Let me be, just explain that. It means if we get a contract, they get a contract. We think IRBs need to get down to the smaller firms, get down to every part of Canada. So two of those firms are represented here today. One is Milquip, represented today by their president, Robert Tardif, and North Star Network of St. John, Newfoundland, represented by their president, Howard Nash. Let me raise their hand. And gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for being part of the Dew Haglunds BAE team, and we look forward to signing up more. BAE and Dew fully support the Industry Canada policies on industrial regional benefits and believe that contracts like the Close Combat Vehicle can and will have a lasting and positive impact on Canadian businesses, not just for the capital program, but for the 20, 25, or 30 years of long-term support that these vehicles will be looking after our soldiers.